my name is dr sanjay rajpal and i will be taking you through all this series of videos regarding quality management kano has given a very good model for understanding the various requirements of quality he has divided into three categories one is called the basic requirements the basic requirements are those which are absolutely necessary for the functioning of a product or service basic requirement uh, may be like suppose a automobile so it has to have some brakes uh, it has to have some acceleration it has to have uh, the ability to like pick up and move from one place to other and those are the basic requirements like a, a school a education institute uh, the basic requirement is that the person should be acquiring the basic skills of learning problem solving uh, like mathematics numeric skills and all those kind of skills now there are second types of requirement which is called performance requirement performance requirements are taking the straight line requirement means the more the better like you say the battery life of a mobile so battery life of a mobile is supposed to be the more the better if it is 10 hours it is good if it is uh, 36 hours it is even better or the cost of a product it, if it is lesser the better so if the cost is say very low it's okay but if it is free it is even more okay so that is the kind of uh, performance requirement which takes the straight line and the third type of requirement is called the delighters which are like not normally Uh, given by the other competitors or other products or other product design it is one of the like uh, it it really gives a uh, very good um, like uh, out of the uh, current uh, current uh, state of the art like when the touch phone was not there and we were having the button phones and then suddenly the touch technology came so it was a delighter and same way like now the voice recognition is a delight or maybe intuitive artificial intelligence based uh, suggestive um, uh, actions are also um, one of the delighters nowadays and if you see the performance curve is always a straight line the basic curve is a uh, not a straight line curve correct now what happens if the basic requirements are not fulfilled you will be always getting a customer dissatisfaction if the basic requirements are taken care it is not going to satisfy further because it's a basic requirement if you say that okay yeah my car is actually moving or my laptop is really like uh, it is showing something or it is doing some calculations so it is a basic requirement it has to be following so there is no satisfaction if it is fulfilled and there is dissatisfaction if it is not fulfilled high amount of dissatisfaction the delighter says a reverse of the basic requirement and those those two curves has to be studied together so the delighter curve is saying that if the basic requirements are fulfilled then only the delighter works if the basic requirements are not fulfilled the delighters don't work in fact it, it uh, any efforts provided in uh, fulfilling delighters requirement is not going to gain you any additional uh, customer satisfaction suppose you go to a restaurant and say that um, this waiter um, his dress up is very good his manners are very good and he is really understanding he is talking to you his communication is good these are the delighters but the quality of food food safety requirements of uh, the whatever has been served and if those are not fulfilled those are the basic so even if the waiter's dress up is very good his mannerism is very good but they are not going to give you any satisfaction because the basic requirements are not fulfilled with respect to food safety with respect to food hygiene with respect to the um, the expectation so that that way like you have to understand and uh, these three curves uh, of kano model gives us more understanding about the requirements of quality so we'll take you uh, further into the um, quality related aspects into the next videos and uh, thank you so much for watching 